Today I want to talk about professional singer Justin Bieber who recently announced that he has paralysis on the right side of his face due to Ramsey Hunt syndrome. So my name is Brandon Bieber, I'm a neurologist, and as many of you know, Justin and I are first cousins. No, I'm just kidding, that was a picture of me at the Wax Museum. We're actually unrelated and we're also both unrelated to professional baseball Cleveland Guardians pitcher Shane Bieber. However, I coincidentally have a similar condition called Bell's palsy, which I acquired at age 18. And even to this day, I have a slight amount of right facial paralysis. I have a little bit of difficulty closing my right eye, although most people don't notice. But anyways, to think about Ramsey Hunt syndrome, I want to talk about the much more common condition, Bell's palsy. This is inflammation of the facial nerve, which occurs for unknown reasons. Ramsey Hunt syndrome is a special variant of facial nerve palsy that is caused by the virus varicella virus, uh, zoster virus, which also causes chicken pox and shingles. Now, Bell's palsy is of unknown cause. Many people suspect it is caused by a virus. But what happens is the facial nerve becomes inflamed, and the facial nerve is responsible for controlling the mimetic muscles of the face, like the frontalis, which lifts the eyebrows, or the zygomaticus, which smiles, or the risorius, which frowns, or or even the platysma, which flexes the neck. So those muscles become weak on one side of the face. Now, some people can have other associated symptoms like hyperacusis or hypersensitivity in the ear because the nerve to the stapedius muscle, which stabilizes the eardrum, also comes from the facial nerve. So depending on exactly where the facial nerve is inflamed, that can be a symptom as well. And also there is a nerve called the nucleus tractus of the solitarius, which runs with the facial nerve and controls taste to the anterior or front two thirds of the tongue. Some, so some people can have taste affected on one side of the mouth. Now, typically, Bell's palsy is diagnosed purely based on examination. Usually, imaging studies are not needed, although in rare cases, inflammation of the facial nerve can be seen on MRI. And the reason for that is the symptoms tend to be very distinctive, usually with other causes of facial nerve paralysis, such as in a stroke or a brain tumor, the upper face is spared. And the reason for that is because nerve fibers to the upper side of the face actually come from both sides sides of the brain, so it tends to be relatively spared, where injury to the nerve itself, the facial nerve, tends to affect both the upper and lower face. Of course, there are rare other causes of facial nerve palsy. In some cases, facial nerve palsy can occur on both sides and be caused by Lyme disease or sarcoidosis. And in other cases, uh, things like a tumor pressing on the nerve can cause facial nerve paralysis, though usually it's not so typical where you have ear pain followed by rapidly progressive facial nerve palsy, which occurs in Bell's palsy. Now, generally speaking, the long-term prognosis is fairly good in Bell's palsy with about 90% having a good recovery. So someone like me, even though it's not 100%, would be considered to have a fairly good recovery. About 10% of people have a poor recovery with a significant amount of facial paralysis. However, the recovery is relatively slow and often takes several months to actually get better. And again, in some people, it's incomplete. The treatment of Bell's palsy is steroids. So a regimen such as prednisone, 50 milligrams daily for seven days, usually helps to speed recovery. But whether or not someone is treated or not, they will likely get better over the long term. In people who have persistent symptoms, there are some other treatments such as using a TENS unit or transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation to try to strengthen those facial muscles, or even surgeries like putting in a weight in the eyelid if people have difficulty closing the eye, leading to to eye irritation. Now let's move to Ramsey Hunt syndrome. So this is a form of facial nerve paralysis, which is actually caused by a virus. Again, the varicella zoster virus. So the idea is that when you're a child, you get chicken pox and this causes a rash and your immune system fights it off, but the virus actually stays within your body for the rest of your life. And it stays within cells called the dorsal root ganglia, part of the peripheral nervous system. And over time, your immune system can kind of weaker. So as people get older, they can have a recurrence of the virus. But instead of causing a respiratory infection, it actually spreads through the nerve fibers, often through to a band of the skin controlled by that dorsal root ganglia called 
called a dermatome, and often people develop sensory changes like itching or burning, followed by a rash in that area, and people can be treated with antiviral medications, although some people do develop chronic pain related to shingles. So Ramsey-Hunt syndrome is actually a special form of shingles where the facial nerve ganglia is involved, called the geniculate ganglia, and it reactivates from that ganglia and causes facial weakness. And the symptoms are essentially very similar to Bell's palsy, weakness of the face, sometimes hyperacusis, hypersensitivity of hearings, changes in taste of the tongue. The way that it can be diagnosed is often people with Ramsey-Hunt syndrome have a rash in the ear, sometimes coming out of the ear, and sometimes if we look in the ear with an otoscope, we can actually see vesicles on the eardrum, and sometimes people have a rash or other changes in the tongue. Now, Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, unlike Bell's palsy, is treated with both steroids and an antiviral agent, such as valaciclovir. So sometimes prednisone plus valaciclovir for a brief period of time. There really is no evidence for the treatment of Bell's palsy with antiviral medications. Really, steroids alone would be the appropriate treatment. And I presume that Justin Bieber has received this treatment. Now, of course, people can also get better from Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, but the recovery recovery is usually very slow over many months. On the average, recovery from Ramsey-Hunt syndrome is somewhat worse than Bell's palsy, and people are more likely to have permanent facial paralysis. However, according to this review article I looked at, recovery is approximately 60 to 80 percent, so still a fairly good chance for recovery over many, many months, and sometimes even a year or more, but unfortunately, some people have some degree of permanent facial paralysis, even if they get some recovery. So anyways, I wish Justin Bieber a rapid recovery and hopefully he gets back to performing very soon.